What am I looking at? What am I looking at, guys? Can I read the title? Sure. Mom's home out way early in the morning. I'm actually at 5 a.m. Doctors say it doesn't have long. Dad has cancer. They're paying me. So the mom, uh, the title of the video, mom comes home way early at 11 a.m. after she said at 5 a.m. Doctor, sa doctor says dad doesn't have long. So that's the mom walking out. He's filming her. The beginning of the video is just him filming nothing. Then this is when the mom walks out. This is, of course, Dayton Hypernova, who used to be Jack Sparrow in high school. So he's just filming her walking away. That's right. That's right. You caught her. You Fil caught her red-handed bringing a sandwich to your dying dad in the hospital. Film your grieving mother. Bring a peanut butter and honey sandwich to her fucking dad, to your dad, who's dying. Now, get ready for what his real issue is. Oh, my God. So along with my dad's health, or whatever his status is with things. The only thing I know is that I was asleep in bed when she started, I had like, my door shut, and she started, like, I don't know if she was banging on the doors or, like, knocking out really loud or trying to open it. She was, like, kind of, like, jittering the handle really loudly, and I was slowly waking up. Yeah, she's probably panicking and in shock because doctor said that your her husband doesn't have much longer to live. Not even having enough time to respond to her because I was in a deep in a, sleep. Coming out of a drunken loud. stupor, you fucking prick. Yep. I'll sound at my bedroom door and she kind of without even opening the door she calls out from the other side saying that the doctors don't know how much longer dad has uh, or she said it more specifically the doctors say they don't think he has very long i think that's how she said it which is a scary thing to say very vaguely that's not much vagueness to it. He has cancer. He doesn't have that much longer. I mean, what do you... And I think what she was saying is maybe you should get in a car and go see him. Right. You fucking piece exactly. of garbage. Exactly. Not make your little hate videos in your little room alone. I mean, that's a scary thing. I assume that she means Royce, the uh, worst. Royce, pretend, well, pretend I'm, I'm like your brother or something. Mm -hmm. Say dad's dying. Say, dad, say the doctors say dad doesn't doc, have very long. The, the, the doctors say dad doesn't have very long. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me uh, let me find somebody uh, to watch the play. I'll let my boss know. Um, give me like an hour and a half. I'll be there. See? It's that simple. That's all you say. That's all you do. Jesus, okay. I'll get there as soon as I can. Well, let me tell you. You want me to tell you what he's posting on Facebook while this is happening? Because I have that. Here you go. I'll, just, I'll read it. From a Cade a Paradoxa on Facebook. Uh, this is probably going to sound vain, but it's one of those things as a person reflects upon as they turn a year older as things about their life and hometown peers confuses them of nearly one. Th I'm reading it the way he's writing and I'm not, you know, of nearly 1000 Facebook friends. I hardly ever see this with other people, but happens to me most of the time in Dayton. No one shows any support to my new main pick when it's uploaded. He's just found out his father's Wait, dying. this is today? Yeah. He's complaining that nobody's giving him enough likes on his new uh, Facebook uh, profile uh, picture. What is wrong with him? And Other then, and then, and then he posted right? a picture of it and he circled it where it says not one like since uploading this 48 hours ago. Jesus what is wrong with him? What the fuck is wrong with this kid? Piece of shit. <laughs> I, you know what it is, man? Do you know what it is to make Frozen angry? Like, like really angry. Not kayfabe. Like, do you know what it is Here to hear go. Frozen say in that tone? You piece of shit. Here you go. Oh, you, the you, you want to read this one? Oh, Tavern for my birthday. The past hour or longer, I've been hearing my parents shouting downstairs about my dad's chemo pain. Stressing, stressing me, me out. out. Hey, can you knock it off with the chemo talk? You're stressing me out. It's really sad. <laughs> and then he circles that. Not one like since 48 hours. Yeah. Okay, just I, I, I gotta say, I gotta, the, the highlight of my day was just hearing Frozen go, piece of Dude, shit. Someone breaks, someone breaks into his house. Someone breaks into your house, like stabs you to death, and he said, "Can you stop bleeding? It's stressing me out." My dad's cancer is so intense; it's causing a foul stench all over the upstairs hallway, clear into any room with an open door. And he's downstairs the entire time. Uh, I'm complaining by vent. Uh, I'm complaining by venting about it, but I know it's awful for him just to have to hold the breath when I, every time I leave the room. Okay, that was like a hint of self like, But no, but he's still complaining about the smell being true. a problem to him. <sighs> he just can't. Help. Well, how come nobody liked this Facebook picture, guys? What's wrong with you? How come you? nobody likes this know, guy? Man. I don't understand. 
seems so likable. I don't know, because she never said anything else. She walked right out the door before I could even get out of bed, because I was barely awake when she said that. It was like, oof. Okay, but here, again, you come in my room and go, Dad probably doesn't have much longer. I'm awake. Yeah, of course. No matter what. Yeah, you're awake now. You're like, fuck. All right, I'll I'll, I'll stop for coffee on the exactly. way to the hospital, but I'll, I'll we'll let figure me get it some out. Fucking I'll figure shoes. it out. Exactly. All right, I'll be there. That's all you do. You garbage human. It's like the baseline things that make us human. You know. Yeah, even family you don't like. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, really? She don't, okay. Yeah. I'll, all right, I'll get there. Five in the morning. It was like, so I wake up startled by the time i'm out of the like even able to do anything uh, to uh, like talk to her she's already gone to the hospital so anyway it's like fucking agonizing she doesn't text me about this stuff i don't know i mean it's uh, it's hard to talk to her she doesn't speak to me she yeah you make yourself want to? so welcoming who would want to she speaks to her other kids like it's social services totally normal to speak to them but it's very difficult for her to speak to the one that's out of the closet she has a very strict religious view against that making it's about nuts. himself dad just find out his dad doesn't have much longer making about religious views and trans stuff so anyway i guess she came home to get him to get dad some food to take to the hospital i don't know what to think i'm in you know so much you know <sighs> So much, I'm under so much stress from the, the thought of what she was saying. He's under a lot of stress, Bro, Mersh. I hate him so much. I out of all the like, we went from covering the guy right. I love the most on this show yeah. to covering the person I hate the most on this show. Yeah. He is just such garbage, man. Uh -huh. And this is coming for me. I'm a garbage person, but my God, even your baseline garbage friends. Do like are not this bad? <laughs> yeah, they're like, this bad. all right, man, I got you. I'll, yeah. I'll have you back on that. Like, Jesus, dude, man. Saying earlier, and she's so, you know, cool and calm and by the book right now. And she comes home acting so not nervous that I don't know what to think. She's of putting on a brave face, man. What are you? A brave face of lies anything but she's really sage retard thanks for reading the ai script i made at least one including the rtc universe have good ones thanks seriously like who bangs on your bedroom door and says or, you know really loudly says uh, you know doctors don't know how much longer he has and then like she says it so coldly that i'm like oh my god it's awful fucking really I just, you know, well, please, considering she didn't come home in a total how dare, how anxiety, dare she be you know, sad that mode. he doesn't have much time left? Seems relatively calm, I guess, right now. How it fucking dare me the way she was this morning? Right now, she seems calmer. But she, then again, she's on the phone with my younger brother. I mean, like on the phone with him, he's out, you know, in another state, you know, talking to her. So it's obviously bad enough to be talking on the phone with him. About whatever the condition, the, the stat, status of or dad is, like whatever his condition is right now, or whatever, Fuck all it. that shit. It's crazy. It's worrying me like hell right now, and I don't know what to do or what to feel. Well, you know what I would do? Just, I'm fucking, maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm fucking sick. Maybe I'm a fucking sicko. Mm -hmm. But like, I would do what every family does in this situation. Here's the thing, dickhead. When, when somebody's in the hospital, whether it's a car accident, it's cancer, whatever, it's a stroke. Right? The whole family comes to the hospital. I'm going to let you in on a secret, asshole. Nobody sitting in that lobby knows what to do. Yeah. No, nobody knows what to do. You just hang out, you comfort your family, and you pray. And if you're the one that's, <sighs> if you're one of the people that has a car, you occasionally go, hey, I'm going to go grab something. You want me to get food or yeah. something? Yeah. I'll bring it back. And that's what you do. Nobody knows what to do. When somebody's on life support or somebody's sick in the hospital, you just go. You go and you sit there. And that's like, dude. Nobody can encapsulate it that better than the Sopranos because they had like everyone there when uh, Tony got shot or whatever. And it was like everyone was at the hospital, but they showed how the adults conducted themselves. They showed the kids being bored and annoyed. You know what I mean? Like that's Dude. that's what you do. You, you have like kids fidgeting all night and people sit and they wait because grandpa's dying. Dysfunctional, goddamn messed up family. I don't know. I'm just sad. My they all the seem to look. We all have our fucking problems. We all have fucking flawed families, but it seems to me like with you removed, right? Like it seems like they have a pretty okay dynamic 
I'm pretty sure your sister and your brother-in-law are probably up at the hospital right now. One or the other while the other one's watching the kids. Good point. And I'm sure you fucking all the, your, your little brother that came from out of town, he's, at, he's here because your dad's dying. And I'm sure he's up at the hospital. Your mom's making peanut butter sandwiches for him. Everyone's doing something except you. So, yeah, they might be dysfunctional. Everyone's family. Nobody's perfect. But they're there. And they, I, we've watched so many videos where they enjoy each other's company. And they're just having a little goddamn barbecue and eating hot dogs. And, and the kids are running around. And it's like, they all seem pretty happy, dude. I hate them. <laughs> Can I uh, get another one, Frozen? I can. I, I, I'm very upset. Very, yeah. <laughs> right now. Yeah. It's rough, right?